hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 8 blogging website series so now guys in this video we are going to make the home page design like about us and the latest posts and viewing all its category in a single row okay so guys now let's get started so first step let's begin with creating the about us content so let's go to this home page okay so we are here now let me just align it py4 container row column md12 and here is one h4 tag and tell about your website found off web by t and let's use a underline underline and this underline needs a css code so i have just already done that let me copy it and paste in the custom.css file all set let's get back and in a p tag let's type the lorem ipsum okay so i'm going to provide dummy content so lorem all set if you require you can put it here and if you would like to integrate add or anything so you can add before this content okay so right now I'm just using this way. Let me remove and keep this at once. Okay, done. So instead of PY4, let's keep it to 5. Like we need more space. Perfect. So now guys, after this or before this, let's add the add before it. So copy and paste here. And end the div. And you can just begin with the container and just show your ad so let's add one border and p2 or p3 and just tell in h3 advertise let's keep in a text center and you can go ahead so yep this will be a advertising area all done and you can just let's keep p1 and bg l i g h t light so you can view that cool so everything looks fine guys over here and or else if you require more little grayer you can just add one more custom code like bg gray okay so these are little light gray color so let's copy this and you can paste here bg gray and here you get the output perfect so now guys let us begin with uh, putting all the categories so yes let me copy this code about us and let's edit that all categories so now so for user for each for each blade and we require to send that from the index function so we have all categories right so let's take this all categories variable and paste here as all catty items so we just need to show the card card body the h4 tag and paste your category name so yep the same process for a tag you can just call out all the categories let's copy this and paste inside your url function tutorials forward slash and then concatenate your category slug and you can give a text decoration none set and now guys uh, let us keep this in one column like column md3 so yep now you can just check here you refresh okay all catty item syntax error let's check out the 
okay here we have missed right let me add that we have to concatenate it so i just concatenated it before refresh here you see the output okay it's not looking that good let's make it like good view where you add text dark and change this to bg gray so you refresh looks cool so you can just give them spaces margin bottom zero and inside this card body let's give margin bottom three here you see the output so perfect now guys let's view all the posts okay so yep only latest posts we are going to get so guys let's copy this once again and here you set and from bg gray to bg white here you add latest posts okay and you can tell latest posts latest post item and you can just take this variable paste here paste here so we need the category also so you need just to create concatenate it okay so let's concatenate that inside this you are going to call the category so where category after this category of slug okay so now you just need to take this variable and create in your front end controller let's create that front end controller and you need to pass that save and now let's get all the posts so post model colon colon where you are going to check its status first so status is visible means then you are showing the post and now let's check that the latest posts so we can take the latest post with the created at okay so when that post was created with the help of order by function where you will tell the created at column field in our post table where you are going to check with descending order okay the esc and let's get all this data and how much you want to show the data on your home page so let's list in a row wise so you can show at least 15 or 20 so let's take and show a 15 record so 15 is more than enough to show okay and you can send this variable post with this help of latest post variable you can go to your front end index blade file and set that so we have already set over here and about this category how this is working that is your relationship used in post model so let me just show you that here is my category function which is used to belong to relationship okay all done and now let's see the output cool okay so let's not use in this box format instead we can so let's design like something the column 8 it should be the post and here you can show your ads also okay so let's make something like that so for that case guys you are going to change this to 12 and let's begin to divide this first so add a column md 8 and after this column md 4 okay i missed out so column md4 and this for each loop you are going to put inside your column 8 and it let's remove this column md12 not required okay it should loop that that's it and here you can paste the advertising area let me just copy from top the advertising code okay copy and paste that's it so yep let's refresh here you see the output cool guys so if you want to set like some simple design you can just add on or else it's fine with this okay so bg gray add one shadow and here you see some difference cool 
so now guys let me click on this how to delete if you click delete that post should be viewed perfect you can see that so let's test with this category list also let me click on php here it goes to php category perfect okay so if you want to add when this it was posted and by whom it is added so we have already done that in category list right so here you can see so same code we will be using it okay so let's not copy the code instead let's type it so it will be more easy to figure out okay h6 posted on you can just take this code paste and tell created at and give the format of showing date month and year okay so you can show that output here we go that's it guys so guys now let's begin with the footer part so yep let's get back and the footer is going to be global guys so for that case you are not going to use in home page only but that design should be done in your extent that is app so let's go to the app file so here as you have included the nav bar let's include the footer too so front end footer so let's copy this and create a file inside inc so front end footer dot blade dot php file all set so let me just paste the simple design guys for footer okay so guys here i have just designed a simple footer over here which is column md6 and about the website and here is some quick links and follow us on facebook insta linkedin and twitter and then a simple copyright part okay so now let us just see the output of this refresh and let's scroll perfect so here we have got this design guys so guys in this video that's it we have successfully designed our home page and let's continue in next video about new topics so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share